as you can see, we've had our eye on you for some time now, Mr. Anderson. It seems that you've been living two lives. In one life, you're Thomas A. Anderson, program writer for a respectable software company. You have a social security number, you pay your taxes, and you help your landlady carry out her garbage. The other life is lived in computers, where you go by the hacker alias Neo and are guilty of virtually every computer crime we have a law for. One of these lives has a future, and one of them does not. Could be a new shirt at the men's store, a cat nap in your office chair, or two cups of good, hot, black coffee. Like this. A present. Like Christmas. Downstairs while you. And when I come up, I want you to be asleep. All right? You've been such a disgusting girl. Just let me tell you. Come on tomorrow. I'm going to go now, all right? Oh, very nice. Look at that. Picked them up from the printers yesterday. Good coloring. That's bone. And the lettering is something called Cillian Braille. It's very cool, Bateman, but that's nothing. Look at this. That is really nice. Eggshell with Romalian type. What do you think? Nice. Jesus. <laughs> that is really super. How do nitwit like you get so tasteful? <laughs> I can't believe that Bryce prefers Van Patten's card to mine. But wait, you ain't seen nothing yet. Raised lettering, pale nimbus, white. Impressive. Very nice. Mm. Let's see Paul Allen's card. Subtle off-white coloring. A tasteful thickness of it. Oh my god. It even has a watermark. Something wrong? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You know, this is, excuse me, a damn fine cup of coffee. Actually, I prefer to read Your Fortune. Temperance. Inverted. Indicative of volatility. A woman who has recently taken a comfort in drink. Not bad, but, um, you have to make me believe you. I have to see it in your eyes. Did you get this?
do you know anything about the Chamber of Secrets? Can strong enough. Don't worry. We'll be all right. I just need to take a little. Fast forward to Bowie. Come on, to Melvin, to Bowie. Fast forward. It's all right, Matilda. I really did do it, Miss Honey. One of the odd things about life is Sometimes you can do something until you want to show someone, and then you can't. <laughs> or sometimes you think something's broken, then you take it to be fixed. This isn't like that. Oh. I don't know. Maybe I made myself tired. Matilda, would you like to come over to my house this afternoon? 